All right, guys, welcome back. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at forms. What forms are, how we create them, and how we can use them in our particular database. So let's go to our form screen. So we're going to click right here, and then from there, click on forms. And once we're there, right now, there's going to be nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this screen out by closing this query, which we created in the last section. And then from there, I'm going to click on create. There are several different ways to do it. One way is to just click on form design, or we can create a blank one, or we could use a navigation one. I personally like to use the form design, so that way I have more creative way of creating design rather than just simple, plain, boring one. So I'm going to click right here. And this will come up. At first, it's kind of like, oh my god, what in the world is this, right? So just bear with me. So you can resize it by holding on to the, let me let go, at the bottom of this form, at the bottom of this, what it looks like a brown color, you could just put your cursor at the end of it and you will see this cross here. And you could just drag this around anywhere you want to where you see fit or however long or wide you want your form to be. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll just say, right about here is good so from here we have different options we can pick under design we can add a label to it text box label button and some tabs and other controls to this particular form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two forms one which I will name main and another one where we're going to be displaying some data. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a button right here. And it, it gives me an option where I can add a, a particular icon to this if I wanted to, which in this case I do not. So I'm going to just hit cancel. And I'm going to just right click on here and left click in here. And then I, that way I can name this particular button to be whatever I want. So I'm going to just name this, call it uh, enter, if I can type, enter data. So that's going to be my main form. That's the first thing that I want people to see when they open up the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this form and I'm going to name it, call it F main and that's that so there's that form and um, then after that i'm going to create another form so i'm going to go to create and click on design and in here is where i want my table stuff to go in so there are many different ways to do it the easiest way to i have learned to do it is to Click on where it says add existing fields. This will bring up all the tables that you already have open. So in this case, I want to use the T temp or actually I'll use the T data uh, table. So I'm going to grab both those fields. I'm going to just drag them over. And I'll drag this over too. And I'm going to resize them as I like them right about there is good then i'm going to use this and then drag this over right there and then i'm going to go here and then drag this over as well just a little and just to see what it looks like i'm going to click on right here where it says view and then there it is so we got record one record two and if i go to the next one I can go to the next record, next record, so on and so forth. You get the point. So that's just a simple form. So in order for me to show this form in a way that if my main form opens up, I want a person to click on this button, which will take that particular person to this form to see this. So what I'm going to do is first is to save this form and I'll call this data. Let's 
So that is saved and then I'm going to close this out and I'm in here I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to pick form properties and then exit out of there and then go to event and these are the different events that can take place for a particular form or button so I'm going to select my button where it says enter data and then from there I have few options I have option where I can make it do something after someone clicks on it or when they push the mouse down key down or hit the enter key or when they exit one whichever one that you want so in this case we want our particular user to after they click the button to go to the data form so I'm gonna pick the event that this says on click hit the drop down pick the event procedure and then hit uh, the little dash thing and this is going to open up the visual basic icon screen so if you have never seen this before not to worry it's pretty simple and there's just going to be few lines of code that you need to know in order for you to write this form to do what we want so what we will do is we will ask Microsoft Access to open the form for us by after clicking on the button so I'm going to start typing and as I start typing Microsoft will help me identify what is what so I'm going to type in do command and then after that I get different properties so in this case I want to click on open form and then it gives me oh what's the name of the form so I'm going to say f data and then it's going to say different properties I'll just leave this alone so after this I'll just say OK and then save it close this out and then save this as well so if I run this and click on enter data then there it is right now you probably didn't even realize what happened so here's what we could do is I particularly don't like the default look of Microsoft Access and if you don't like it either you can change it you can go to file and then options and then from there current database and from here where it says document window options you want to click on where it says overlapping window windows and then click OK and it's going to ask you you need to close rather tell you you need to close the database so I'm going to close this out and then reopen it so here it is there's our little baby open this up and then we're going to open up the main form and here it is so this is like dockable so movable as compared to other one which is not so I'm going to click OK click on the entrance screen and now you can see them side by side so there it is so pretty much I clicked on this button with the little VB code that we wrote it opened up another window which has three records at the bottom which you can see if you want I can navigate through them and it will show them all of them so there you go guys here what we did was we created a simple form where which is the main form and from here someone clicked this button will open up this form I know it probably right now it may seem very simple to you but we will build upon this as we go through this training series so I will see you guys in the next video.